Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another exclusive tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to root Android 2.2 uh, for the Captivate. Uh, this is the latest KB1 release. I just released another video on how to upgrade to 2.2 for your Captivate. And now I'm going to show you how to root it. Now, I do have an older root video for 2.2 Android, but uh, the support for that particular uh, method has been dropped. The developer of that application no longer supports it as it no longer supports the latest editions of Froyo. However, there is another one called Super One Click uh, from CL Short Fuse, and he's written a tremendous application that happens to work for a wide variant of 2.2 uh, Froyo ROMs and devices. So go ahead and download that in the description below at my website, mobiletechvideos.com. You can open it up. We're going to use WinRAR to open our RAR package. And from here, you can extract these files or you can run them directly. Uh, I choose to run them just directly in the RAR because I know they work just fine. So we're going to want to double click this and uh, open up our software and show you what we're working with. So let me do a slight zoom out there. Okay, you should be able to see everything that you need to see there. Okay, so now you need to have the drivers installed on your computer for the Captivate. You can get those at the link below in the description as well. Once you've installed them, we need to do a little bit of a step on the phone. Click the Settings button, Settings option, Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked. Say OK when it asks you, or yes. And uh, once that's done, we can plug in our phone. Now, if this is the first time your phone's plugging in, you'll hear that and you may see a bubble at the bottom right talking about installing uh, new drivers. Ours has been confirmed on this computer so we know we're ready to go. Now from here, it's as easy as clicking root. It really is that simple. So we wanna click root. It's gonna do a ton of ADB commands which is command line based uh, interfacing for the phone to the PC and it's going to rewrite your file system to be rooted. So you're going to hear a couple of noises like that, and it's going to do its thing, and you'll see dialog boxes below. So I'm going to let this finish. At the end, it will tell us that it's rooted, and when we like to run a test, we're going to say yes. Your phone may be prompting you for a SU command, so turn it on and watch just in case. So we'll say OK. Ours was not. And the next question is, would you like to donate? Consider donating to the developer. He spends a lot of time on these ROMs and, uh, I mean, on this, uh, this type of application like this. And he really did make life simple here. So I do strongly advise that you donate to him and uh, all that he stands for. So uh, we'll say no for now. We've actually already donated because I really appreciate his work. And from here, we want to click this option, allow non-market apps. That's just something you're going to want to do. That allows us to install APKs that are not from the market. Okay, that's done. Now we want to power off our phone. And we'll power back on in just a moment. And we will show you how to verify that this worked by using a root application. So our phone is powered off. And we're going to power it on now. Okay, now it's powered off. Sorry about that. Alright, so it's powering back up. I'll catch you guys in just a second and we'll do a recap. Alright, our phone is powered back up and we're going to check this out. We're going to be running Titanium Backup. You can find that in the market. It's an awesome application that will allow you to back up and restore applications uh, for future use on uh, different ROMs, other phones, you name it. It's an amazing application. Check out the Titanium Backup video right here uh, if you would like to learn more about that. But we'll go right into it and it's going to ask us for root. We'll see a super user request. Super user is what allows us to manage uh, root permissions. So we need to say allow before the 10 second timeout. It'll ask for root and bam, root has been allowed. That is how you root Android 2.2 on many of the other uh, Android phones, especially the Galaxy S variants. You can try my original 2.2 video if you would like. If it doesn't work, try this one. If this one doesn't work, try that one. Uh, that's the best way to put it. Uh, they're both great applications, and I wanted to go ahead and film both of those applications to give you the best idea of what's available out there. So that is rooting 2.2 Android 
version 2 from MobileTechVideos.com. Check us out at MobileTechVideos.com and uh, be sure to donate if this video saved you time and or money and also be sure to consider the developer uh, of the application as well if you are considering donating. I appreciate you for stopping by. I hope you subscribe. Thanks for joining us and if you're ready to root, good luck.